Hey YouTube, hope you guys are having a wonderful day and uh, wanted to give you guys a small update after all the rain we got. We got like, I don't know, 10, 12, maybe even more than that inches of rain and the garden needs to be harvested a little bit um, and maybe I need to seed some stuff in, uh, move some tomato plants in and things like that. So I've got my cutting tools, basket, gonna disengage the hot fence, which can't, which doesn't really keep the rabbits out, but I think it does help a little bit um, in keeping the big animals like skunks and things like that. So um, I still am looking for another alternative fencing I'm thinking about building a chicken wire. Oh, it's hard to open this with one hand. Okay, cut that out. Just that. All right, so let's look at the green beans. See if we have any green beans that we can harvest. Oh, you're bringing some water or something. Okay, so the green beans. Let's look at you guys. See if you have any pods that I can harvest. They're hard to see though. Oh, I see some green beans. So hard to see, but they're not ready to be plucked. You can see the beans growing beautifully as I had expected. I think this is the first time they have survived the rabbits. Uh, I did plant the green beans all over here and all over there. And as you can see, only this many have survived. So uh, rabbits were able to get those. But anyway, we have what we have. So this looks great. And uh, we have beans, but they're not ready to be picked too little lots and lots of blooms I'm not sure what kind of flower or weed this is not sure and I've got some Swiss chard it's growing beautifully I think I can harvest those two Swiss chards today uh, because it's getting bug bug damage sure there are some liz oh yeah see that yeah so it's being bug damaged so okay and over here all of this area has been eaten down by the rabbits this is all a legume um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called in English, but like American English. In India, we call this fenugreek seeds, also called as methi, uh, methi leaves. So it's a legume and um, very high protein. And you can see that the rabbits love it and they have chopped it down completely. But it's regrowing the leaves again. You can see the leaves are growing again. So I don't know, maybe it might grow back again. So there's some weeds. Great time to weed after rain. So easy to pull it out. And oh, that's there's a beautiful rab butterfly. It's enjoying all the cilantro flowers. Here. You can see the 
is a wasp, yellow jacket. see on the, the legs they have all that pollen collected it's quite a few bees actually anyways I can keep watching the bees because it's just so fun and Int intriguing to me. Um, there's one more. A few more here. Look at that leg. It's covered in pollen. It's, oh wow, both legs are covered in pollen. And it's the purple pollen, so the legs are purple. You can see that. Because the flowers have a little purple tint. What a beautiful sight. And over here, I have a pretty butterfly. I'm not sure what color it is, but definitely picking up some white. Oh, more, more butterflies, more butterflies. Wow, this is so fun. I think I'm going to grow cilantro just for the butterflies itself. There's one more weed. Um, yeah. So I highly recommend you guys grow cilantro even if you don't eat it. If you love butterflies, you can um, attract a lot of bees and butterflies. store. There's another type of bee over here. Um, yeah, it's like, I don't know, what kind of jacket type of bee it is. Yeah, they just love it. And over here, I have the tall variety of cilantro, also making ton of flowers. And there's bees on that too. Let's see if I can zoom in. is shaking a lot more than the shorter variety so I guess it's more stable for bees to hang out here um, than up high where it's constantly sh shaking quite a bit so I think that's why. Alright let's look at the peas. I want to take my basket and go to the peas. So they are ready to be picked. So all you have to do is just grab it and pull. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna grab it on the very, right, very right top. So I don't leave a part of it there. Because it's breaking off from there.
And these tomato cages are great for growing the... Mmm, yummy. Really good. There's some weed. Bring this weed out. There's some oak tree growing. Probably planted by the squirrel. And, uh... The important things of gardening is to come spend the time um, when you can and uh, don't try to harvest everything at once if you harvest as it grows it's more rewarding and also um, you get to eat the fresh vegetables plus um, it doesn't feel overwhelming so over here, I usually only harvest on the weekends. Whoops, I'm dropping all the beans. On the weekends, so that way I get to see it growing. Um, sometimes I come out in the middle of the week to get some herbs or something like that that I need for cooking, but at least once a week. I come and pull what I need that's growing because if you don't harvest often the plant doesn't produce as much as what I've noticed so yeah. that's one of the things I've learned over the years that harvest and weed on a regular basis that's something, it's easy to manage if you harvest regularly and weed regularly. Spending like 30 minutes, an hour in the garden, at least a week, um, is a great start after you planned everything. Even if nothing is going for you to harvest, you can come out and see if there's any weeds to be taken out or any bug damage happening so you can spray down some soapy water mix or other organic things like neem oil um bt solution and things like that My garden really needs right now a spray down of BT because I see a lot of bugs starting, just starting. It has not made the damage, a major damage yet. But if I don't spray them right now, um, as soon as the rain stops and it's dry enough to do it, um, next time I come out here, the garden is going to be eaten um, and destroyed by all the bugs. So, and it happens and you know it's okay if you can't get to it it's okay you grow again and 
don't get discouraged if you are not able to. It's not the end of everything. Over here you can see there's so much weed. You zoom out. This is all weed that I have been pulling, but it just, with all the rain, it's, it cannot stop growing, so. And the less weed you have, the more nutrition you have for your, your plants. And I usually weed and leave the weed over here and let it turn into a, um, compost sometimes I if it's too much and I'll take it out out of the garden these are onions that I'm growing from the starts the onion starts and onions really don't like the weeds so it's hard to find you know which is the weed and which is the onion but as soon as you know you I've got some experience you'll learn to identify the grass weed in the middle of all the onions so onions are looking good and the weeds are growing just as much unfortunately Bead. I have to continuously do this. Even if I cannot get all of it, I get some of it. I made a difference, so. Yeah, the onions are looking good. Um, here I have the tindora plant that's growing and I will need to put a kettle panel here so hoping that I can do that next weekend if I get a chance and that way um, the tindora can take off and start producing a lot of tindora and this tindora plant is very easy to grow once it's established so Just the, the initial part, getting it started, is a little time-consuming, but once it starts taking, growing, and it'll do really easy. You can just take a cutting, put it in water, and it'll root, or put it in soil, and it'll root. So, over here, I have a lot of parsley so I think I might harvest that tomorrow to make some uh, tabbouleh it's kind of like a parsley salad with tomato a little bit of uh, coarse wheat coarse ground wheat and things like that and this bed is breaking down and I'm thinking that I am going to this whole area of beds and move them over there and actually fence off this garden so I'm only going to have one row of beds and a lot of space on both the sides that way it's easy for me to um, keep this side um, less overgrown like over here you can see this is not my side this is my neighbor's side and if i keep the fence over here how am i going to try and keep this weeds out so i'm thinking in future i am just going to take down this whole area and uh, put a fence over here 
and have one one single bed row like you know like just in the same direction but keep instead of two two beds there'll be one single bed and then a lot of space and then there will be a fence over here and i'm also thinking about adding a chicken wire fence um to keep the rabbits out because i've tried to keep the rabbits out with the electric fence and so far it's not really working well so i did find um i was able to capture the video where the rabbit is zooming out from the electric fence without any issues and i have posted that video and if you want to check it out um it's just posted last in the last few days so <sighs> yep these are some potatoes growing so many butterflies so interesting Lots of weeds growing too. Yeah, so I'm only keeping this one side of the the beds and keeping up fencing. And I might even keep like the goats go through one side of the fencing and eat the neighbor's side of weeds. You can see how much the weeds have grown up. I don't keep up with this next thing you know it's gonna be a disaster so that's definitely something I'm going to try and tackle real soon <clears throat> hopefully hopefully by June if I can yeah not sure what I'm if I have the time but I'm gonna try because this is one of the things that I hate. And let me show you why I hate it. I'm trying not to get hurt. You can see. And this is a very young branch. And you can see how bad this is. This is called mesquite. It's the worst type of tree. Because the spikes are, look at how big the spike is. And the spike also has a spike. And these spikes usually grow like, I don't know, like four or five inches long. And I just hate it. And I have a tree of that here. So, um, yeah, it's very invasive species of tree. So I do not like mesquite. It's great for barbecuing, but I do not like the sweet tree. I think that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah. This time, thank you. Bye-bye.